And we'll yeah. get started here with game two. That one not so bad, only taking 48 minutes. A quick one. Let me switch up the overlay and pay out channel points real quick. Sounds good. So what would have uh, your first pick been if you were part of that fantasy draft? I know there was some discussion. Uh, Ted ended up taking D-Stall first, but I think I would have taken maybe ABM first. I, th I think those were the first two picked. Um, my gut reaction was the same as uh, Ted's with D-Stall. I just think that card is so important. ABM, I think ABM was a very valid pick, but... I mean, the whole the whole rest of the game gets shaped by whether or not uh, the Soviets get uh, de-stall in the early war. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not going to play it at 2x. We'll go with one and a half. And we'll hop into game two here. So they're going to flip sides. Harib's going to play USA. We're going to be looking from his point of view again and get underway here. And a pretty good hand here. That's Lots of ops. Hand, yeah. See what he wants a to do with five year plan if he wants to event that or not. Not bad at all. Bunch of three ops and a couple of fours. Could open with yeah. Marshall plan or defectors. You're going to go Marshall. Yeah. I was actually Italy thinking be, defectors here. I, yeah, if you start like that, I kind of like defectors um, for this reason, because then if they headline sock goes, uh, they can just walk in and take Italy. Yeah, it's almost what I would probably going to take Italy, and then we're going to see a coup of Italy. Maybe. Yep, and a monster oh. six there. Yeah, never mind. Just if you just roll a six on your coups, it uh, it's fine. It's easy. It's gonna give him mill ops for the turn, so he's not gonna be forced to squeeze in cooing somewhere, and Ooh. not enough to take him out of Iran. So a rocky start here. See Harib probably go Pakistan, maybe Malaysia. Yeah, I don't love that. Uh, I don't love that coup anyway, unless you just end up with zero US influence that's a great coup back target for him and then uh, you potentially get into the same situation anyway yeah I mean a failed coup of Iran is always going to be tough um, yeah. even more so with it already at four okay yeah I like this here yep and if he wants to flip that with uh, the China card, I am very happy as the U.S. to get the China card on turn one. Just for the event, not the coup. Interesting. I thought for sure you would take the coup there, but both players already have the required mill op, so maybe he's just thinking he needs to do something else. Can't yeah. risk another fail on a coup. I was just thinking to protect your Africa countries. Gonna give up turn one China card just so you can have Thailand. And going to lose out a little bit on Africa. A little surprised he uh, gives up if he's gonna give up Nasser here. Yeah, he wants to hold defectors, it seemed like, but changing his mind now, he wants to block the domination in Asia. No scoring cards on turn one. Yeah. I think I think you need to block the domination in Asia for sure. Um, you don't want to give up five to that. Interesting he doesn't use Pakistan to do it, but I suppose that means that even the IP war headline doesn't immediately switch the Asia dom. Mm-hmm. All right, Harib getting paid back with an awful hand here now. Does have some... <laughs> oh, yes. Does... 
Yeah, still gonna take his points. Uh, purge well, is not gonna be great. <laughs> jokes on you. Yeah, the, the, pur the purge doesn't matter. He loses like two ops to that purge. That's that's not bad. That's yeah, fine. maybe only one if he holds containment. That's yeah, that's true. He probably will hold containment. Oh no, he can't. He has blockade. He he's got to hold blockade. Yeah. U.S. Japan. I was thinking grab yeah, take, space. Take your 2VP for sure. Where did that second off go? Oh, West Germany. Okay, he's just overprotecting both. I see. Doesn't look like Thomas's hand was much better either. No. He had Purge and uh, the UN helped him, but that was about it. So the Middle East is going to be looking a little bad, but everything else looks all right for Harib. Well, of the early war regions, Africa is a little rough. Yeah, kind of a bummer to see Europe come out on turn three, but... We also haven't seen, as far as I know, uh, we haven't seen five-year plans, so. Yeah, we saw it Decent earlier. It was I turn think. one hand. Oh, it's going to be, okay. Yeah. He's going to play into Columbia here Europe. with D-Stall still on the deck. He's not going to see D-Call. Or D-Stall, not D-Call. Yep. So, good choice. Could be a good containment hand. Or even duck and cover, but then you give up the coup of Columbia, so that's not too helpful. Duck, even if he doesn't want to coup Columbia, you can just immediately de stall and drop two into Venezuela. Yeah. Nothing you really, because you kind of want to play Warsaw, so nothing you really wanted to give up to blockade here. I think containment makes sense for headline. Yeah. Gonna go ahead and headline D stall. A little risky. I wonder maybe maybe he might have redrawn uh defectors. But mm. unless I unless I would definitely never D stall unless I knew exactly where defectors was. That's that's too much of a risk for me. All right, Harib's got to grab presence back in the Middle East. Uh. Yep. I think Thomas has IP war as well. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't remember it being played at least. He's protected by. Being in India, at least. Thomas will probably take Mexico before a vetting IP war. Nice big four up. Just take India. Taking taking Mexico is not as good once the U.S. already has a uh, influence there, so they can just walk into Guatemala. Uh, I like the Venezuela jam, though. I don't know how much I like he India. Can't. He's got Europe scoring in his hand. Yeah. And I guess containment. I mean, he's just getting oh, manhandled in South just, America right now. Just, <laughs> oh, just bullied. Ooh. Yeah, bullied is a better word. Harib definitely uh, probably card tracking knows roughly what's in Thomas's hand. And it uh, seems like it's not good. Yeah, Europe, IP war. Really oh. needs this to hit. Nice hit there. It. Wow.
surprised. He was, I, I just hadn't been counting countries. I was surprised uh, he was able to block that so easily to Asia. Yeah. And South America is going to look quite bad even after the destall. And I yeah, think it is. Justin was right there. I mean, I think Brazil was better than India. Yeah, you, I mean, you get four out of Asia, which is not awful, but... Yeah, with how hard he was playing into Asia, I think if you're Harib, you're definitely thinking he had Asia there. Right. And he really, it took him two ops to uh, block Asia even after the IP war, so... This is a pretty good hand here. Yeah. ABM probably in case of Missile Envy, but you got South America, which looks like you might be able to grab control out of it. Junta also could, I guess, be a good headline here. If... Even Sadat yeah, for the probably... event looks nice. Oh. You know, I was I was just gonna say that maybe you place into Chile and then just coup Mexico with it, which would have worked out. He should he should have known he was gonna roll a five or whatever. Mm -hmm. A yeah. presence list dom for eight is a lot. Yeah, I was thinking about priority though for Sadat. I may have evented Sadat before scoring South America and give up the two points because now you're gonna have a hard time getting presence in the Middle East. You do have Kennedy. He might just be thinking he's gonna drop. Um, yeah, that I mean that is oh, true. I was just thinking long term too as well, but dropping it right. for sure. And he, with ABM, he didn't even coup in the Middle East, so I think he's probably just planning to uh, get rid of the Middle East and probably Che with Kennedy later. And Angola is his for the rest of the game because it's now at seven. Maybe brush war. Never know. Oh yeah, that's true. You're right. <laughs> The alliance currently worth what five? That puts you up to thirteen. Uh, yeah, I, you still got Southeast Asia and Africa to be scored. I don't know if you're gonna. Yeah, be I think pushing twenty here. Yeah, I definitely think you take your five VP though for alliance. I might, I might. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I might do Kennedy first just to see what we get. Ooh, nuke subs could be a good hold card to work on Africa next turn. Shuttle's just going to be ops. Yeah, shuttle doesn't do anything as an event, but three ops are nice. Yeah, it could definitely push 20 if you can flip Africa here and nuke subs headline could do that. Yep. Or if he draws uh, grain sales, same same thing. Yeah, take no. take your VP. This one. I just set it up there. Thanks. Ooh. All you missed, uh, the Korean War event failed, and then you invented Sadat. Okay, yeah, still in headline. Yeah. Huh, there's Brush War. Our man, our man not active. That's pretty funny. Uh, Purge, always good. Yeah, you know, Sock Gov's not going to do much. Nope. And I thought you not might see Jason new subs Italy. as well. Might even see a mid-turn nuke subs here. Doesn't have... Yeah. I mean, a lot of his cards in his hand are events he wants, though. And he doesn't want to give up decal or quag. So maybe not good for a nuke subs event. Not getting into the Middle East. I think you uh, brush... Uh, the top African country, Algeria. 
I was actually trying to think of a going for Thailand, but Africa's, I think Algeria flip is worth about the same as Thailand. Yeah, and you have such better odds of hitting it. Yeah. Yeah, with Africa Four left, I think seven. Algeria makes makes the most sense. Oh, gets a five. Would have worked on Thailand if he'd tried it. See if Thomas has Africa here, he would dump it immediately. Does not. Gonna steal back China. A lot of five year plan <laughs> events. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I saw a, a five-year plan event midterm, and that's three in two games here. Yeah. Puppets should Puppet. end up in that's Africa. Nice Maybe all three. No, no, Africa makes sense, too. Camp David's still out there, but setting up a real yeah, line I, of Zaire or Nigeria. I, I like putting one in the Middle East have at least blue influence exist there. Thomas got to be afraid of VOA as well here. Ouch. Ooh. It's kind of risky there. I imagine Thomas's hand is not very good though. Yep. Giving up OAS instead of cooing with something else. He is purged. Purged and got five year planned. Then I have We Will Bury You. All right, well, so score of Africa, Central, he's dominating currently. Liberation Theology is still out there, though. Ouch. Southeast Asia yeah, also. Up. Yeah, definitely have to protect Nigeria too. Oh, he's gonna coup instead. I don't know if I agree with that. I think placing influence is better. And Harib does not care about the already scored Europe. He's going. He's he's pushing hard for the win here. Um Yeah, he's got a real line of Thailand grain, right? set up now too. What card? Grain yeah. cells? Grain? Yeah, I don't think so. So good chance he can steal the coup. Uh, next AR. Yeah, still doesn't overprotect Nigeria, but Harib has obligations to space. There it is, Southeast Asia. Still no Africa. Does have CMC, but he's got influence in Cuba if you wanted to lower DEFCON. I, th I think I still like CMC. Protect Africa. Yeah. Mexico well protected, but he's going to lose out on Panama here. Yeah. What's Southeast Asia worth right now? Uh, it's going to be three? worth three. Ooh, interesting now trying to steal arms race. Get some VP. Annoy him a little with the Panama Canal there. That's a real line of Panama. Kind of risky with your own influence and only plus one, but... Yeah. Also, if he has it, he's going to drop it right now, probably. Like yeah. that. And take us two because Thomas ended up taking Burma. Probably, yeah. Looks like he's moved to the end. Probably hold Quagmire through just so it doesn't get reshuffled, and you know you don't have to deal with that in the late war at all. Oof. Oh. Gonna get US oh, Japan. That's... At first, that's I thought it was Quag, but then I saw he had US Japan. Can't respond to that. Yeah, he's got to grab mill ops here. Nigeria's still open to a flip.
and flippable. I, I, yeah. I was thinking maybe Algeria first. And maybe cooing Saharan Algeria. states would have been better than Cameroon, but. Yeah. With with the with him cooing uh, Cameroon, Algeria was uh, too reliable, I think. Ooh, nice hand here for Harib as well, via way grain sales in Usuri. And the Pope, which I think it's at six right now for Poland, right? Yeah, I, I don't... Maybe you do event the Pope. He has France, so it gives you a chance. Che headline, not too bad. Going to lose Colombia and Uruguay, or maybe even Zimbabwe. Interesting oh. steal. Going to go for the coup, though. A little surprised he didn't invent that. Yeah, I mean, Bear Trap is not that great. I mean, it's better if you make, like, an AR-7 play with it or something, but I don't know. Yeah. I guess he also knows more or less what's in uh, Thomas's hand. If he has a bunch of events that he doesn't want to have anyway. Why would he not? Oh, he's just going to realign, is what he's thinking. But that doesn't work with VOA. Yeah. Thomas should know that he has most of these cards in his hand. Yeah, I was going to say, VOA was a known, um, I think. Yeah, and giving up an early China card to Yusuri. I guess it doesn't matter. You have so many battlegrounds. But he also has Africa in hand. That hasn't been scored, right? Which is now a control. Yeah, I think it was more important to protect Africa, like you mentioned earlier. Maybe he has five-year plan. Maybe he, that was one of his redraws. But... That will be a great redraw. Why, yeah, why, 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 give, why give up China so fast if you're just going to space Nixon anyway? Yeah, I mean, it is 2VP. I'd rather just... I don't know. Maybe his hand is kind of bad. I can't remember what he has. But he does have a scoring card. Worth 10 for his opponent. <laughs> as many VP as he can get. Yeah. No. That was what, 10 now if he scores it again? Uh, Yeah. It's not bad. Curry may be playing a little fast there because not that I dislike the real line on uh, Chile, but he, like you mentioned earlier, he has a really nice real line on uh, Thailand that he could have done as well um, if he just used like a two op card. Yeah, plus two there. All right, score track all the way down to one now. And you got to assume five year plan is coming here. Yeah. What a redraw. Yeah, bye bye, Africa. Board's still not looking great, though, for the Reds. I mean, they do have, well, I take that back. They have Europe, Middle East, and Asia. So, still kind of up in the air. Asia is almost control, even. Yeah, Asia is very close to control. Uh, is, was five, or was, uh, U.S. Japan last turn or was that turn six? Because that's in the discard. It's no, in the, it's discard? the discard. No, I was gonna. Yeah, it's not in the discard. No, no. All right, this one be you. You're gonna give sock goes to, which seems fine. Yeah, it's not too bad. Does have Europe scoring in his hand? He's currently looking what he wants to do with Star Wars. Ops to go for Usuri instead and work on AJ. He's got two bad scorings in his hand. Europe is at least only one. 
So. I was thinking if you do some kind of poke where it like just pokes four battlegrounds <laughs> and then scores Asia. Oh yeah, he could have he could have poked all but uh Thailand. None of them I don't think were overprotected. Big old coup. And fails. Yeah, I guess it doesn't make sense since you were a missile invaded and you have to play it and you can't dump Asia immediately, so Leaves Thailand open. A little risky to give China card while you're holding lone gunman, though. Yeah. As how I learned, he could raise DEFCON up to five and realign Thailand. But with two scorings, he might not be have the time for that. Right. He could also get rid of gunman if he did that, so... Yeah. That could be a pretty nice play. Europe is probably only going to be one. Asia is going to be the problem, though. 7 to 1, 2, 3, 7 to 6 right now. Is that 9 for Asia? Something like that. What are we going to pick up? <laughs> Being annoying. Yeah. Maybe better later in the turn. Trying to end with AR6 and then Asia. Still needs mill ops as well, Harib does. Yeah. He might be considering uh, how I learned to raise Defcon in the last AR. Uh, that way you just can get rid of Lone Gunman. Yeah. That would get you your mill ops. Evens it up. Um, that prop. Well, he could flip the country, which he might do right here. Mm, lucky mm -hmm. there. Goes from yeah. nine to four. I, I think. Uh, Ooh, and he's got South in his hand. He is going to raise Defcon. Yeah, Defcon goes up to five. He's got real lines on France and Thailand. UK not taken though, so he he could win this turn with Duck in War Games. And Duck is like Defcon's five right now, so you got to hold it for a little while. Yeah, yeah, you don't need, need to headline it, but you've got you've got the chance to win it. Yeah. I like this, and then just realign France. Yeah. Ah, uh, take one on Romania, coward. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not a good idea. Thomas hasn't been rolling too hot this series so far. No, he has not. Oof, another bad one. Defcon 4 is protecting against the real line there with that coup of Cambodia. Where are you going to go for is. space? Are that, there... that is going to be... Uh... Middle East? What's that? I was just going to say Middle East or Central could still save him um, before we get down to war games range. Yeah. A third OPEC. I did win a game once where I knew my opponent had war games and uh, I had a couple cards. I had Salt and Nuke Test Band, so I just kept raising Defcon so he couldn't have it and I ended up winning. Oh, nice. He was, uh, he was very frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> you guys retake France? It's a nice Latin American debt crisis. 
let them double up there in Brazil. Oof, gonna try it. Oh, what a rip. What a <laughs> sick rip. <laughs> Payback for that South America and the other one. Oh, man. What an upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh man craziness that's so painful <laughs> yeah harib not electing the discard card to lads because of uh having gunmen in his hand didn't even get rid of it before defcon was lowered back to two yeah Nice big coup there. Gonna have to give up China this turn. Oh, he gets it. Interesting rail line Ooh. there of Venezuela. Yeah. So Aldrich, Aldrich could yeah could win a game here. Yeah. Doesn't have any way to lower Defcon or keep Defcon higher and dump gunman. Uh he's one away from discard though. It is turn ten, so discard doesn't matter. Purge, oh, I think he just lone gunman. Yeah. I forgot he had headline peak. Yeah, he just he headline lone gunman and it's looking pretty good. It's a pretty quick game, already turned ten. Not used to watching at one and a half speed here. Even so, they're under they're under what an hour still of total yeah, time. Yeah, they both play pretty quick. Thomas only using twenty two minutes to get the turn ten. Future blitz players. <laughs> a little surprised he just took. I mean, I don't, we don't know his hand is, but a little surprised he risked the coup there. Um, there's a th he had three influence in that country, I think it said. Scoreboard's looking interesting. I mean, he's down 11, but Middle East is control. Asia could be control, but it's a lot. I don't know if he can make up 11, though. Yeah. Europe is about to be blue again. Yeah, with EU possibly for the event. The score central makes it a little bit better. Time to roll a bunch of low coups in Africa, like you always do when you event nuke subs. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have Aldrich, but doesn't matter anymore since Gunman was dumped in the headline. Right. I was surprised he was so quick, and then I remembered it was turn 10. It doesn't matter if you discard or not. There you go. Yeah, Justin makes a good point. EU even takes away presents for the red. Ooh. Well, with that one extra into East Germany, I think. No, it still would. It still would. I take it back. I'm a little surprised that he hasn't uh, filled France yet, just to have that. But yeah, this is looking pretty. Uh, this looks pretty good for Thomas or for Harib here. Yeah. I don't know Maybe if he's going to be able to have enough to take Israel. Israel's worth three victory points, four for three. But then, I mean, Harib can just break any country in the Middle East. Did an nice. I three? EEU last AR is going to be brutal if he doesn't uh, protect his European countries a little more. Yeah, what's, what's, what's Europe domination without presence? Like ten? That's a lot. <laughs> I think presence is worth three. So country count in Asia is what six to 
eight, so it's not too bad. Just thinking about he the last AR, what yeah, Harry can do to, to get points. Flip a country. Ooh, event there. He's going to get the extra action round, which is nice. He's going to end with Brezhnev. And then maybe EU prior to that on AR7. Yeah, that's that this is this is a this is a very bad position to be uh for Thomas. Two unanswered ARs. I don't I don't know how you stop that. Yeah. I think he's gotta take France though, right? Yeah, I think yeah, you gotta try. I don't think it's worth it to go for Israel. I don't think it's worth it to go for Japan. But where else are you going to make up points here? Yeah, I mean, just there's nothing you can do that he can't just break in his last two ARs at this point. Because, you know, you could jam China into Japan and you have Asia control, but you have one, two, three, five, uh, not overprotected battlegrounds. You don't have enough ops to do that too. Same, same with the Middle East. Same with Europe after he is. Do they play these games back to back like this? I don't believe so. I think they spaced it out because I think I received the games separately. Gotcha. There's the EU. A little bit early, so Thomas can recover from it, but he's going to be obligated to get ops into there. Right. And even with his break there of Algeria with the China card, it didn't. It all it does is block a domination or a potential control. It doesn't stop much. Yeah, I don't think he has enough to make up eight here. Nope. I think it, it's close, though. Hopefully Thomas has a good card he can end on here. Just gave up defectors. Yeah, the, the two ARs. Uh, if he didn't have two ARs, it might be close, but I think two, three ops in a row should be plenty to uh, put this one to bed. And then as far as Harib's plays goes, he can he wants to grab domination in Africa, which could be solved by just a coup or placing one and taking one unless he takes Algeria, then that makes his country count five to four. So then a coup would have to do for like Saharan states. Yeah, a three op coup though on Saharan states or whatever. What you you only fell on a one, right? You only don't take control with a one, so Pretty good odds there. Yeah. Has a chance to break either East Germany or Poland for domination in Europe. Unless Thomas does something. He, Poke of Cuba is worth a decent chunk. Yeah. Uh, flip of Laos, Cambodia with a three op, evens Asia. Yeah. I mean, he still gets four VP, but it blocks the dom. He's got a lot of options here. Especially with two ARs to do it with. But he's under purge, yeah. so he's only got four ops, really. So maybe a coup in Africa. Oh, I did forget he was under purge. I forgot he was under purge. That's right. So maybe a coup and break something. So I think, yeah. Coup in Africa and yeah. break something in Europe for domination would be the most points so far. But I imagine Probably. Thomas is going to do something in Europe at least. Although, maybe you got to be a little bit risky here. He's probably trying to count it up and he might have to do something risky. Some sort of a uh, so hero realized somewhere. But yeah, but even that, I, I don't know where his good hero realigns would be at. 
I mean, Nigeria, I guess you would work on Africa. Yeah, it is. It is pretty close. If Middle East had come out. I still can't believe those, the terrorism and the five-year plan, so. <laughs> I know. Three times of ending five-year plan, twice for terrorism. Yeah. Is this enough? Yeah, it does protect Europe, so can't grab the domination anymore there. Uh, so this looks like a uh, coup in Africa and do something else, break something. Cuba makes sense. Uh, annoying. Annoying you have to hit uh, Chernobyl every time now until you finish this turn. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, break of central and then gaining Africa domination should be enough, I think, with the eight point yeah, cushion actually, that he has. This is, yeah, this is definitely a little closer than I uh, thought. I forgot. I forgot about the purge, so. I mean, you could place four ops, three into France, I guess. Grabs you domination in Europe. That's five. And then I don't know what you'd do with the last one. You can't grab domination in Africa with it. I think it's still better to coup in Africa and break Cuba, maybe? Cuba's, Cuba's important. Yeah, Cuba's worth four. Yeah. What's Lebanon worth? What's the three? Yeah, Lebanon's only worth two. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I think African Tom is the next best thing cooing Saharan states. Yeah, it's a little risky. You're not guaranteed it with a two-op coup, but... Yeah. Maybe there's a safer play. Great Cube is definitely one of them. I think you should. I think you should lock this in so that we don't have to watch him do Chernobyl again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four VP from Cuba seems uh, pretty good. Not sure what the count is right now. Uh, with his math that he just showed, it is uh, before he plays his last AR here. It's even. It, it goes to zero right now, and now he wins. Okay. He had yeah. Six, he Lebanon was, he was nine, just the he had safe nine play. Seven. Yeah. He had nine and seven versus eight and eight on the scoreboard. So, uh, very close, that'll though. That'll do it. All right. Thomas, number two, ITSR is going to drop a little bit. Congrats to Harib there. He's going to catapult up the ratings as well. He was 42, I think, when it started, sitting at 60 nice. and 19. So, a very good player sitting at a record of 124 and 45 now. And he will move on to the semis. Take a quick look at the bracket here and see who he is going to meet. He's going to meet the winner of Justin and Farrat. And that game is going to come up tonight at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, UTC minus 6. I'll be joined by Ted Livermore. Should be a great matchup. Got those games. It is a best of three as well. Have the full series for you. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, please drop me a follow. Sub, always appreciated. Thank you very much. And uh, JR, thanks for being on. Glad, glad to have you on. Yeah, thanks so much. Great, Two great games to watch. Glad I was able to uh, make it. Thank you. Yeah, Thomas has played some impressive games, and I don't think I've seen him play before, so I was really excited to see some games of him. Um, but yeah, still a good season for Thomas there. Gets a win uh, against Zima Witt and Guanghen Wu. And top eight. So congrats to him and look forward to seeing him come back next year. But that is going to yeah. be it for me. So I appreciate everybody tuning in. And I'll see you guys back tonight for Justin Abramson versus Farad Gunshu at 7 p.m. Uh, and we'll see you later. Bye.